Welcome to the first hour of Yes Your Grace. I've seen this game around for a bit and all I know is that you get to be king. And if you get to be king, then, you know, it should be fun. You get to make all kinds of decisions and probably ruin some lives. We're good at that, right? Let's get into it. New game. Yes, Your Grace is a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions and sometimes life will get in the way. Sounds familiar. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, that's good enough. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, explore the rooms to find items of interest. Well, I can see the, the crown there. Yes, we're gonna put on the crown. Uh, I'm gonna move the camera uh, and make it smaller. I'm, I wanna be smaller. Okay, so there's some ominous music. We have options. Yes, this is the crown of da Davern. D Devern, da da da. Wear it. L let's go. This is a map of your castle. Click on the castle wall to go there. Oh, here, castle wall. Okay, we're gonna travel in a blink of an eye. I'm gonna turn on the timer because it's starting. Yes, I am a deserter. <gasps> a deserter? Found one of ours hiding in a shed. Shed? Why sh Why would you do this, Sobik? He knows the person. There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands able to hold a sword. Even the least brave soldiers are essential now. There's no place for cowards under my banner. Oh, these are the choices. Even the least brave soldiers... Oh. Do we want to kill this person? <laughs> There's no place for cowards under my banner. Maybe he wasn't hiding? With courage, we will defeat the enemy, no matter the odds. Let him lose, General. Go and stand for Davern. Thank you, Your Grace. Will he stand for Davern? Over here, Your Grace. General? How bad is it, General? Our men are scared. It's the middle of the night. Yes, you can say it. And yet, it's so bright, as if Svarog himself walked our lands. The thin walls won't last long, and we lack any solid defense measures. We don't have enough men, man. Once they get in, we have nothing we can throw their way. Can you hear the chanting? Yes, it's ominous. They're getting ready, we'd better get started. I have gathered archers from all the other walls. They are waiting, awaiting you at the wall, your grace. There's still time to put up white flags. So the general actually wants to surrender. Your grace. Your, your grace. Can I interact with anything? No, I, I just the door. Okay. I'm going up to see... Oh, there is an army. We're gonna see the archers. Sons put up a white flag. Archers. Sons of Davern. Sons of Davern. My brothers. We stood together through the worst of times. We have proved our strength in many battles. And today, we will prove it again. My bravest men, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear. This is so weird. I, I, I have to turn into an actor, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I'll do. For Davern. It just... Ah, okay. Do it. Be, be brave. Fight. I'm sorry. It feels a bit off because, you know... I'm... I, I don't know what's going on. Three, two, one. 
Okay, here I come. Are you playing hide and seek? Lorsulia. You found me. Well done, father. She's my daughter. Uh, come on now, Lorsulia. It's not often that I can do this. I told you, I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? <laughs> Lorsulia, there's no way to speak to your father. <laughs> Lorsulia is a stick in the mud. Shut it, Asalia. We can see you from miles away. I have to go find her, got you. <laughs> Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud, she couldn't even find a place to hide. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to hide, I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Really, that's the way to do it? Oh wait, you can't write. Of course I can, you nitwit. Cut it out, both of you. Crack? What's cracking the pa pavement? We need to get it patched up one day. Oh, you know, I'm not playing with you, darling. So you're my wife. The sun finally came out. Let me enjoy it. Do I have any more daughters I can find here? Uh, Sedani? Hi. And here's the little one. New. I was doing so well that you were hiding there? You must have cheated by... or picked. I demand another trial of, of the game. How official. Maybe next time, Sedani. Oh, someone's coming. Forgive me, your grace. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will soon arrive. All right, enough games. The throne awaits. Grevno, week one. The petitioners will start queuing um, in a moment, your grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. Okay, so whoa, whoa, whoa. Archives. So this is my family. This is the queen, Aurelia. Completed entries, people's needs, main entries. I have nothing, hearings, nothing, nothing. I've done nothing. This is my wife. Can you go and speak to Lord Sulia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. I know... Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what's got into her recently. Maybe she will open up a bit more to you. She's probably wondering about at the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Dungeon guard. Your grace, I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse, otherwise we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. Okay, new entry. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, your advisor makes a note about the encounter in your archives. You can see all the entries by clicking the archives button below, which I did, you know, beforehand, but uh, I had nothing. Food damages. Okay, we should repair the damages. Peasant. What do you want, peasant? Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is, we don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. Well, what will my daughters-in-laws think of our family? Well, that's not really my problem. I mean, are they also peasants? We want to hire a band, buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We would only need five gold and five supplies. Yeah, but that's not really my job. Uh, you have my blessing. The kingdom has more important matters at hand. Wish your daughter the best from me. You skimp us 
a little gold? Shouldn't the king support his people in the hard times? Well, I don't think it's the king's job to pay for your wedding. I'm sorry. I can't feed my guests with the king's blessing. Yeah, but... I'm sorry. It's the, the way it is. Your Grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. Well, this I can get behind. We could really use a new place to rest after a long day of work. Well, is the inn a priority? The inn is business. Do we want business? How, do I have gold somewhere? I really don't know. For... Okay, make it the best in around. Okay. So this is my gold, the, the golden thing there. <laughs> Obvious, I'm sorry. Okay, and these are my supplies, 20, and 100 are the swords, and the happiness is 16, and I don't know what this pigeon thing is. Okay. It's all good. Oh, we surely will. Thank you, Your Grace. Feathers. These pigeons always bring so much mess into the throne room. Okay, that peasant. Monsters. Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night, unseen, unheard, until they arrived. They attacked the village. Oh, shit. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your grace, I beg you, you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. Um, tell me more. Who are they? Bright, red heads, short, but sharp fangs. Hundreds of them. H hundreds? Is it rats? Gleaming metal from their claws. We've never seen anything like this. Tell me more. Oh, okay, so it, it's just repeating. Hundreds. Gleaming metal. We've never seen any. My agent will check the... The general should deal with these bandits easily. They don't sound like bandits. I don't know. I, I, this game is making me read a lot. I don't have an issue with reading, it's just reading aloud that I have an issue with because my diction is not that great and um, my intonation is not that great. I'm not a good actor when I'm also reading. Or, or in general, I'm not... Okay, thank you. One week, the general was sent. Huh. This is very... Um, I think it's a slow gameplay, so... Click on the glowing flower to advance to the next week once you're ready sometimes. You will need to see your family members before you can advance. Can I go see my family members? I, I have to talk with my daughter. Don't I need to talk to my daughter? Maybe not. Oh, okay. So she's... She, 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 he's, she's probably... Yes. Yes, go, go talk to her. Can I do this? I have basic issues again. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I, I was stuck there on the throne forever. Okay, 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 okay. Blue icons indicate important matters to attend to. Green icons show optional conversations. So my daughter is an important matter. And these are the gardens and the dungeon, which are optional. I want to go to the dungeon. Damn, this is worse than I thought. Okay. The recent downpours have damaged a lot of buildings, Your Grace. While we still have space for prisoners, we should focus on buildings that need more attention. I've had a scribe write a list of things that need to be fixed. 
you will see this in your weekly summary, your grace. <laughs> there, there is talking about gameplay things. This sounds like it's going to be costly. Yes. Can't I check out that thing there? No, I just left. And in the gardens, I think. Asalia. Yes, father. Can you explain the fight in the gardens? What is the matter with you two? You and Lord Sulia used to be best friends. You mean why is Lord Sulia such a big baby? This is the kind of thing I mean. You're being mean to each other. She's annoying is all. Their their speech is not really medieval. <laughs> I don't know. Um it's fine, but I was expecting, you know, more official, kind of medieval, old-timey speak. You need to stop fighting with each other. This isn't going anywhere, is it? I can't make you like her. No, you need to stop fighting. Insulting your sister won't make the situation better. She will just get more resentful as time goes by, which is true. It's so hard, yes, but... Yes. Don't do it again. She's... Aurelia used to love to sit here and eat. Oh, okay, that's just his memory of things. Um, now she gets more peace in our bed uh, At least she gets peace in the bed chamber. I mean, she probably gets some action too, but she's not avoiding the bed chamber, so that's a good sign in a marriage, I think. Okay. I think to go to the wall, I have to go there. So my daughter is here and she's she's with uh, Dusty, a black cat, which I kind of like. Hello. Oh, you can pet the cat. That's so cute. Dusty is cute. Okay. What's up, Lorsulia? Oh, it's you? Yeah, it's me. You need to stop fighting with your sister. Do you want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. <laughs> I'm fine, father. Why didn't you want to play with us? So Sally has been pretty nasty recently. No, don't don't gossip on your own daughter. I can see something's wrong. I will see you later. <laughs> like, bye. I didn't even try. Why didn't you want to play with us? That's not so important. I, I can see something's wrong. Why won't you talk to me? Well, that's not a good appro approach. Everything's fine. Don't you have things to do? Why didn't you play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe I'm not five anymore? Oh, so... I don't know where your sister learned to be so rude. Okay, so I can't really get... I'll leave you to it. I can't get anything out of her. Maybe I did something wrong? Sure. Lord Sulia, you're giving me the creeps because you're standing on a wall and you're, you're obviously down. Oh, The Green Mountains, Luli loves them. Who is Luli? I is she? Luli? Lord Sulia? We're lucky to have such a beautiful landscape. It is beautiful. Fields. The fields? The, these fields used to be covered in forests. Our agriculture is thri thriving. Okay. And the forest? Do you have anything to say there? No? Okay. I think we're gonna go back. No? We can't go back? Why? The, the, the footsteps are so powerful. Um... Yeah, I can't... I can't figure out my own daughter. I'm not a very good father. Can we go now? Okay, this is your weekly summary screen. Here you will be able to see your kingdom's weekly income and expenses. So, this game also has like an economy side to it, right? You can buy upgrades and fixes for the castle in the left section. That's... But that's left, right? <laughs> I have issues. <laughs> to buy an upgrade, simply click the button with the upgrade name and you will see the cost added to the summary. Hmm. So, broken theater. 
broken pantry uh stand general i don't know what stand general is taxes so this is what we get in the green and this is all the things we are gonna lose okay current resources fix pantry roof fix market stall so we're gonna fix this and we're also gonna repair the pantry roof and we're gonna save and continue Grevno week two we are running out of food <laughs> sorry general what's going on your grace no sign of the monsters okay so he re returned we did stumble upon these bandits though they were pillaging the village I think these were the redhead sharp, sharp teeth, yes, a crest of Radovia? I thought you could only find them in books and old manuscripts. Well, it seems like we have one right here too. Tell me, whose banner are you bearing? Why are you here? Who's your leader? I've heard enough. Whose banner are you bearing? Is it true that you're from Radovia? Your man is right. Radovia is my home. And soon yours too. Oh, I, I guess that's what he wanted to say. Why are you here? What were you and your man doing near the village? Pillaging it? We're just making a living. One man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Well, hard work, yes. No, 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 no. That's just... This is pillaging, dude. Who's your leader? Do you have a king? Or are you just a barbaric thief? We are free people. Okay. We don't bow to kings or lords. So you're kind of tribal then? Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. I've heard enough. Your grace, we can't allow barbarians to stock our lands. I agree. Plundering and killing innocent men? There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Execute him. No Radovians come will threaten the crown. Behead him. My brothers will hear about this and you will feel their poisonous bite. I have no doubt about that, but you were pillaging a village and it's my job to keep people safe, so... Oh. I need to see Aurelia about this. Why? Is she secretly a Radovian? <laughs> it could be. Lord Sulia, I bring news, father. Asalia sneaked out at night last week. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sidani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two chit-chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Thick, don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lord Sulia? Asalia sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden. Audrey, did you know about any of this? No, your grace. I'd better talk to Asalia about this. You girls are going to drive me mad one day. Yes, the personal issues. What do you make of this, Audrey? Radovians here. So we're, we're back to the Rado Radovians. How would they get through the mountains? Mm. Why would they threaten a war? That's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Okay, forgive me, Your Grace, I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Yes. Talk to old friends, see who could give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. Yes, do, 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 do prepare. Let's see, peasant. Your grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. 
Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he is my son. I ask you to help us find him. Your grace, is there a chance you could do so? All I can offer is seven gold. Our general will try to find your son. No, I'm, I'm, I'm all about trying to find him, because you don't know. You, you don't know what will happen. He will ask around and see if he can track down your son. I hope he's still, he's still in one piece. You have my thanks, your grace. Lord Etten. Oh, I have lords. My name is Etten. I'm the lord of Branga, your grace. I will be as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. I don't have that much money. The thing is... I track them down and I know where they are keeping her. I've planned everything out. I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I will need your help, your grace. I'll give you a general, sure. I, I don't have a general. Oh man, that's, that's bad. I chose to help the peasant with the sun who is just missing, he's not in real danger, but the daughter of this lord is in real danger, apparently, so... And I don't have a general, because I only have one. And I don't have enough money. And uh, I can't help. My general is occupied and my gold is running low. I wish you the best of luck getting your daughter back, oh my god. And I wish you never find yourself in... I probably will. I think that's that's what's gonna happen. Oh. I'll find myself in a similar situation. Keep your daughter safe, your grace. Oh my god, he's gonna kidnap my daughters. I will remember this. I'm sorry. Oh. And this is so bad. Your grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How they know? I haven't done anything, right? I don't know why are you telling me this. I better be going. You're weird. Sure. I need to talk to Aurelia. Okay. She should be in our bedchamber. Yes, go talk to your wife. Well, 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 where is my wife? Here? Hello, Aurelia. I need help. Are you from Radovia? Yeah. Darling. Foreign bar barbarians visited us this week. Radovians have come to Dar Davern. One of the, their bandits was brought to the castle. Radovians? That can be right. Do you think it's about your... Our promise? Say, 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 there is something. It might be. What do you think? 13 years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a fog. Oh. Oh. The plot thickens. Bayran, wasn't it? Do you don't remember the man's name? You promised your daughter's hand to him. Does it matter? After 13 years, a Radovian shows up in our castle. I'll be damned. Yes, Lorsulia will soon become a woman and we will need to find her a husband. And Bayran, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. Why don't you fulfill your promise? I mean, you've had a reason to make the promise. What about the witch? Oh, sure. Do you remember the curse? Oh my god, there's a curse now? Why? How? Everything went to shit just like a normal life and now all of a sudden we made a promise to give our daughter to a barbarian and now there's a witch with a curse? Sure. I don't even want to think about it. Let's just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax. Yeah, sure. And see how things with the thug turn out. I don't think we're making good choices, honey. <laughs> what got into us? How could we have promised our daughter's hand to a Radovian? Yeah, how could you? I mean, and you, you kind of need to keep the promise, don't you? 
But yeah, why did you? With a knife to my throat, I'm not sure what else we could have done. Like a literal knife? Well, maybe don't give them your daughter. I'm so confused. <laughs> to think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. We can't let this happen, Eric. Don't worry, we will solve this. So we're not gonna give our daughter to the barbarians. What now? What are we going to do? If Baron ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. Well, we just need to play stupid. <laughs> I, I can do that. Unless he shows up with an army. <laughs> oh my god. Don't be silly now. How could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. Uh, how could Radovians get to Davern? <laughs> Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandit to the dungeon. I killed him. No, I let him see justice. Damn it, you should have questioned him first. Oh my god. Yes, I should have. That, that's true. One less barbarian to worry about, though. How are you holding up? How, how are you holding up? I, I don't know. It's so unreal. Marry a prince, a lord even, yes. But let her marry a thug? I, I don't think we have a choice, darling. Either that or our kingdom is under attack. And I think we're gonna have the kingdom be under attack. We can do oh, this. Yeah. It will be fine. I won't let them take her away. So I think that just repeats. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I will see you later. Eric, yes? I'm terrified. Oh. I can handle this. So she's terrified, but I can handle it. Fine, I will stay here. <laughs> Just... Okay, uh, can I see other stuff? The Grey Mountains. They seem much bigger in real life than they are in this painting. A uh, bed? I wish I could have a snooze right now. I have plenty to do though. Okay, we're just gonna go. Because we have in the gardens an opportunity to speak with Asalia. Yes, father. There was a wedding in the village and you got drunk. I've heard there was quite a fine wedding in the village just outside our walls. It wasn't bad, but I've heard it could have been even better if my father was a bit less stingy. You have no idea, girl. <laughs> you have no idea. We are broke. <laughs> and I made an enemy because I couldn't pay the gold uh how do you know this i wish you'd help you'd come to ask me first how do you know this sounds as if they had the honor of a royal guest no of course not i've heard what people say is all come on now i know about the wedding dorsulia told me what happened how would she know anyway oh of course danny so danny i'm worried about you I wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to you. You have no need to worry, nothing will happen. Well, there's this noble guy, I didn't help him with his daughter, so do you know what's out there? What could have happened if someone found the princess by herself in a village? All the drunkards, thugs, nothing happened, father. I was dressed differently, I was careful, I'm not stupid, well... I know what I'm doing, all I wanted was a little fun. It's still not okay, by the way. Norsulia said you got drunk. Mm, uh, that's a lie, she says. I know what I'm doing, I can take care of myself. How many times? Hmm, Norsulia. Since she turned 14, she thinks you will make her marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she intends to be such a lousy rat, maybe it would be for the best. Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's just infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling. Oh yes, she didn't stop. You are confined to the castle. Okay. I think that works. 
No more visits to the market. No more playing games. No more horse riding. No more visits to the market. You will not be visiting the market. No more going to the mall. <laughs> or whatever you kids do. <laughs> what am I supposed to do inside those godforsaken these godforsaken walls? Stupid or Sully, I'll teach her a lesson. Stop with the names and don't teach her a lesson. I'd better talk with Lord Sully, yeah? Cracking the pavement. Okay, I keep clicking there. Yes. Yes, we will patch it up one day. Let's just go talk to Lord Sully, yeah? She's at the wall. Sure. Swords. Generals and hunters sometimes come here to practice swordsmanship. Okay. How you doing, Lord Sulia? Everything okay? Oh, it's you. Asalia told me what's going on. Asalia told me why you might be feeling a bit down recently. I think your mother and I had started to figure it out anyway. Did you know? I'm sorry we didn't realize earlier. Oh, and why is that? You're a grown-up woman now. You will have to get married at some stage. You won't have to marry a stranger. You will have to get married. You're a princess and every princess needs a prince. Getting upset and not talking to us won't help, but I can promise that we will take it slow. Hmm, time will show. Goodbye. What, did I not do well? I will check on you later. I'm sorry. Is she so angry all the time? There, kitty. Meow. Uh, did you fart? <laughs> I, I think the cat farted. <laughs> sorry. Well, that was funny. Um, the farting, Dusty. Okay, so we're gonna go now. Uh, where are we going? I don't know. Just to the throne room, I guess. Uh, that's the bed chamber. Can we check on the dungeon? Okay, how can I help? I'm just looking around, okay? Stay as long as you like. By all the gods, that could have been me. Your grace, do you see what happened here? If I was in the other cell, I would have been crushed. This is a sign. The gods have forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I will dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if I could get out of here, please. Why are you here again? I bumped into the innkeeper on the street and stepped on his toe. How dare you tell self such false no. <laughs> he ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper, he was pretty upset. Oh yes, I think I remember. Your grace, I have been enlightened. I won't ever do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out? No. Uh, you got what you deserved. I think you will need some more time to think about your actions. You're not the cho are you the chosen one? Maybe you can get... Why are you so big? Yeah, you, you can see that. He's... He's so big. Um, by comparison with the... The king. But he's further away. Maybe he is the chosen one. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. <clears throat> but this was won't happen again. So he's admitting to his crime now. Why are I stole a gallon of beer, Dean? Okay. I've had enough. I hope you learned your lesson. You may leave, he let... <gasps> what, really? Are you let... The gods have truly chosen me. I will go and spread their wisdom. Thank you, your grace. Our paths will cross again. I can feel it. Oh my god, did I mess up? I think I messed up. <laughs> there is no right answer. <laughs> okay, let, let's just move on to the next week.
are we doing better with the money? I think we are. Um, repair future. I don't think I have enough resources. Stand general. So. <sighs> sneezing, sorry. Sorry for sneezing. Then general, I don't know what that is. Mm. I'm gonna save and continue. Week free. <sighs> this is the pigeon. Oh, he has a message. That's why we have pigeons. <laughs> Duh. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what was promised, for the gods have graced us with their strength. Bayron, the king of Radovia. Yeah, we're screwed. So they do have a king after all. And where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? To take my daughter's hand. You never mentioned it, your grace. I didn't think I might. I would have to keep my word. We can let barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury, treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on with the audits, and I'll make some preparations in the meantime, yes. I will be in the council chamber, your grace, so I'll have to talk to him. Okay. Anything more? I've already read the letter. Peasant, what do you want? Your grace, injustice and hunger have struck our village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left worth giving to the dogs now. Mm. I wanted to kindly ask for seven pieces of gold. Or five sacks of supplies. That way we can at least keep our children fed. I'm, I'm gonna give you supplies. Feed your children well. Yes. That will be enough to keep us going for a couple of weeks. Gods favor you. Thank you. I came with a business pr proposition. I need 12 gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Branca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for, lo for long. A new tavern will change that and will guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. No. Oh. I do want to make more money. Take the gold and let the business grow. Oh, wonderful. You won't regret it, your grace. I will get right on with the work. Eight solid tables, 13 beds. We could make a cheaper shared chamber. Oh, it's going to work well. I hope so. I hope it's gonna work. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious, I don't think. But fevers and sneezes are all over the place. I've been afflicted with the sneezes. It appeared out of nowhere. As if a dark force brought it upon us. Do I give supplies? Oh, if it's not serious, I'm sure it can wait. I can't offer much, but here is five supplies. Take these supplies, seven supplies. I'm gonna give her five. I hope this will be enough for you and your neighbors. Thank you. This is more than we expected anyway. Yes, you have a good heart, Your Grace. I try to, but you know, I, I mess up inevitably. Okay, uh, this is all? Yes. Are we gonna go to the council chamber? Bed chamber? Oh, this is council chamber. Hello, everybody. Who is this? Sedani, my little daughter. And Audrey, the general. Table. This side table of food is very useful for long meetings. Well, I bet it is. Just talk to the daughter first. Hi there. Pumpkin, silly pickle, potato head. Why would you call your daughter potato head? That's... <gasps> silly pickle, maybe. Pumpkin is just... Yeah, silly pickle. 
I'm not silly. You're right. You're a silly pickle. Uh, your grace. You shouldn't be playing here. So Danny, I always tell you not to play here. But this is my most cherished place in the castle fortress. You have most... You have most finest items here, father? Please, let me stay here. I won't break anything, I promise. Fine, you can stay. As long as you don't damage anything. Thank you, fa your grace. Let's see what else is here. Okay, so she's here to play. Sure. Your grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Yes. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talis. He might be able to help. Finally, we have access to our allies tab. Okay. We can talk to the nearby lords. But first, I would suggest inviting Talis. Here you can view details of each of your potential allies. You need to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. King Talis, invite? Great, Talis should visit us within a week. With his army, we should be able to re repel Radovia. I, I think he's gonna screw us over. Thank you, Audrey. Yeah, I think he's gonna uh, screw us over. When lords have news, a green icon will appear by their name, like this one next to Lady Ada. Well, where is the green icon? She doesn't have any news. This is all a lie. It's fine. Um, are we done here? Can I go? I think we're done. I'm gonna go back here. I could have ended the week there also, but... So. Um, we got... A bit of money, a bit of resources. Things are not going that great. I, I don't have that much gold now. I hope the business thing pays off. If it doesn't, then... Okay, week four. We're doing great. How can I be of service? Tell me about your our battle preparations. What would you like to know about? Is our army ready to confront the enemy? We don't yet know what we're up against, but with our current army, we couldn't even defend against peasants with shovels. Okay, good to know. Svetovid himself would have to help us finding allies oh that's a god Svetovid finding allies will be vital if we want to stand the chance okay let's see what the the let's change the subject how can I be just uh, that's all for now general your grace I have found the son of the peasant oh whoa, whoa, that's great at least we've done something we could have saved the daughter but at least at least we found the son he was weakened and thirsty but should be back to full strength soon enough so the the kid was just lost mm. King Talis hardly any light can get through these windows pigeon available these holes used to shine Eric father what, what, what happened? Look what she did. Asalia put feces under my pillow. How, how can I ever wash it off? Just do. Like, quickly. Why did you tell her I told on her? I didn't tell Asalia anything. I think. Did I? I never told her you told me. Of course you did. Now she won't leave me alone. We'll deal with that later. Scuttle off for now. Oh, poor kid. If you can't even control your children, then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. Yeah, well, and that I'm still standing where I am. But are you okay, guy? Forgive me, we have had a lot going on recently. So this guy, Talis, comes here and just... He's acting like a father-in-law or a mother-in-law. He's just... You're doing the shitty job at everything. Bye. 
Okay. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Oh, of course. Let's talk in the console room. But, 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 there was another guy waiting. You have a lot of books. What is she doing in here? Are you letting children play in your archives? Girl, be gone. Are you a king or a blasted nanny? Eric? What can be so important that you couldn't just send me a pigeon? Why is this guy like a mother-in-law? You know, like a nasty one? Like, he just comes in and he's like, you are doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. You are not a nanny, you are a king. Beloved. That, that's annoying, annoying, annoying. Just go away, man. Oh, I need allies. I will be straightforward with this. I need an army. Radovia has threatened me and my family. Ha, Radovia? Here? Yes, they... They're simple men, untrained. Tell you what, I'll give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw its way. What, just like that? Of course not, you see. My son Ivo has been crying and moaning to me about finding him a princess. Yeah. That, that's coming. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy, out of my way. Lord Sulia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here. Plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife? Her condition hasn't improved? Okay, so I maybe have been tough on this guy, Talis. He has a wife that is sick and that is tough, but still his attitude sucks. Well, that does not concern you. You get an army, I get Losulia and access to these books. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Sure. It, that's... So an army for a marriage in return. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can catch on... You catch on quickly. I'll send my armies right away. But we'll do it on my terms. Ooh. I don't get much information. I mean, I'm okay with... With the deal, because Lord Sulia would be with a king's son with a prince and not with a Radovian barbarian which somehow I'm assuming he's not that much of a barbarian they're just being silly maybe I don't know what if I say we'll do it on my terms I can just let you take my daughter for a hundred men come on now Eric we both know Davern has seen better times. When Radovia comes, who will protect your people? Your family? Are you going to order peasants to fight them with pitchforks? You'll throw in 22 extra gold. You'll provide a general. I want 3,000... <coughs> I want 3,000 extra men. Do we want the gold or do we want the man? I don't know. I want 3,000 extra men. And they will be at our disposal whenever we need them. That's fine. I will send an army straight away, but I want immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in your books then. I think I will start from this room. Okay, fine, you can find me in the throne room if you need me. Let's see what we have here. Great, you have made a new ally. You can now try to make more allies by inviting other lords in the allies pa panel. Sure, invite her. I, I know nothing about her. I don't know what this is. But the red thing. The red arrow. Nothing is falling here, just a pile of rubbish. Well, he's he's <laughs> he's of a different opinion. Talis wants to read our books. Does this have to do with the curse? I don't know. Let's just go. 
Oh, there's so much to do. I'm gonna finish with the person who was here waiting. Yes, there, there was a guy here. Banker. Oh, I have to sit there. Okay, now we can talk. I'm here representing Bank de Florentini. I hear that your treasury has seen better times. I'm here to help. Like any bank. I'm just a bank. I just want to help. How does this work? I want to borrow gold. I want to borrow supplies. That's it for now. How does this work? We understand that sometimes it's hard to be a king and we want to do our best to help. Ah, no. We offer quick and easy solutions to give you a surge of gold or supplies, whichever you may be in need of. Yeah, but you want them back at, with a, an interest rate, which I have an issue with because I, I have trust issues with banks. Sorry. Our exclusive package of the offers 50 gold or supplies instantly available for your use. The bank only adds a small fee of 10 gold or supplies depending on the type of loan. It's paid off in weekly amounts of 10 until you pay off your debt. Your grace. We won't charge you any additional costs. Last thing to note, we only do one type of loan at a time. So if you want to borrow gold, we can't lend you supplies until the first loan is repaid and vice versa. And remember, the first loan is free of charge. You just pay back what you take. <sighs> just go. Leave me. <laughs> Leave me to think. <laughs> I need gold. Yes, yes, go. Okay. Before I... Before I end the week... I need to speak with him. Tell me about the kingdom. What would you like to know, Your Grace? Petitioners, resources. We have to control four resources to keep our kingdom running smoothly. Gold, supplies, army and contentment. Contentment. We need to distribute gold and supplies to our petitioners. If they are happy, their content contentment will grow. The strong, a strong kingdom needs a big army. To gain more soldiers for our army, we will need to make alliances with neighboring lords and kings. We can gain resources through taxes as well as from the alliances we make with lords. Okay. I think, I think we're done. Uh, learning about how to do stuff. Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm afraid to go tell my wife I have basically sold our daughter to Talis. Asalia? Oh, of course she's not here. Sedani is here. Your Grace, how are you doing? You're a king, so why do you listen to the men in the council chamber? Well, he's a king too, you know. <laughs> he's a bit of an asshole. But you're a better king. He should listen to you. Yes, it depends who you need. I mean, if he needs me or if I need him. <laughs> Keep your voice down, silly pickle. I think that that's how it will stay from now on. She'll be silly pickle. Okay, so goodbye. I, I will see you later, silly pickle. I have to to tell my daughter that she's been sold. General, uh, are you okay? Your grace. That's all. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Yes, yes. Um, come on. Lord Sulia will for forgive me, will she not? Oh, it's you. There is something I need to tell you. We have no choice. You must marry Ivo, the Prince of Atana. It's, um... Uh, I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get the say in this? We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So you, you do get choices in this story, but things are set up so some choices are not actually optional. It's just the way you make the choice that's optional. So she was gonna get married anyway. You can't marry her to the Radovian barbarian because 
they don't give you the option to do that. And you you have to marry her to Ivo, the Talis' uh, son, your ally. It's just... So I'm going to be sacrificed. Did you even consider any other options? Did I? I don't, I'm sorry. I, I actually don't know. Did you even try to offer something other than your daughter? Could I? Oh. I'm tempted to, to play this again, to actually figure out if... Because I was under the impression I had no, no choice, but maybe I did and I didn't realize it. Mm. I knew it, I knew the day I'm old enough you would just sell me to the highest bidder. You've been waiting for this, you can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a common girl living in a village having nothing to worry about, being able to marry the one I love, not some snob I've never met. Well, honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> stupid wedding, stupid prince, you're stupid. Yeah, you're only 14. And she Obviously, she's not going to be mature about it. And um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you lived in such, you know, bad times or different times or I don't know what kind of times. I, I have to pet a kitty to relax. It's stressful. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Did I press okay? Is it okay now? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm gonna tell my wife I've sold our daughter. I mean, it's not the Radovian Barbarian, so she should be okay with Ivo, the prince. Dorsulia is getting married. <laughs> what? No! Did Bayran find us? We can't let him! Dorsulia will marry Ivo, the prince of Atana. I made a treaty with Talis, marriage for army in return. Wait, Ivo? That's, that's good. That's great! Ivo is a prince after all, and if Lord Sulia is married to Ivo, then Bayran can't do anything. We need to buy flowers and decorations. No, we don't. No, we don't. We have no money, woman. Does Lord Sulia know yet? Yes, she didn't take it well. Give her time. She'll come around to the idea. I think things will go really, really badly. So, let, let's see at the end of the week. Later that night? No. It had better be something important at this ungodly hour. Your grace, Radovian forces have been spotted nearby, no? Oh, not yet. It's happening. They've come for Lord Sulia. Eric, we must do something. Send the general to assess the situation. I will attend to the matter in the morning. No, no, I have to play and keep seeing what, the, what will happen. I have no money. <laughs> Week 5. Radovians have, have formed stationary posts around our castle, your grace. Wait on my mark. I will instruct you where to strike. We, You need to send the general to eliminate. Uh, just press on the map. Let's get rid of this one. General sent. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. We will be ready for the wedding in four weeks. The Radovian posts need to be eliminated by then. Yes, I've called for you. Nevertheless, your grace, I have a favor to ask of you. There is a nefarious thief going from lord to lord pretending like he needs help. Is it the one with the daughter? So I don't have to feel guilty anymore. He always says he's a merchant and his goods have been stolen. Let's say he does show up to my throne room. All I ask of you is to imprison him. I will keep an eye out for him. The tavern you helped me to establish is up and running. As promised, I will now start sharing my profits with you. A whole one gold! Oh my god. I need more than that. <laughs> um, no, I, I want three pieces. Uh, it was worth a shot. Peasant. Your grace, they took our cattle. I can't help at the moment, I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I have to be careful how I'm clicking because he's all over the place. Oh, this is the wife, but where is Lord Sulia? Okay, so she's all about the wedding. Where is my daughter? She's in her chamber hiding, so I don't think I can go see her. Well, let us begin a new day. I don't know what to do about the money. I don't really like the wedding thing. 
Okay, what's Why? what's going on? No sign of the Radovians at the east post. Uh, you go there then. We are in week six of this kingdom management and bad, bad choices that I make. I, I wish uh, things turn out great for the family. Just d don't, don't put me in charge of a kingdom. I'll probably mess it up in some way. It has, it actually has a great atmosphere. You feel like you're in the castle. The, their sound effects are really effective. Uh, this has been a pleasure. Thank you for watching. Do leave a comment. I enjoy hearing from anyone who watches my content. Recommend games for me to play in the first hour of, if you wish to. Bye!